Okay, well, welcome back with this, um, bill here. Just weird video, not something I normally do, but this is a huge issue here. Because of the wording of the bill, it can be construed to mean a lot more than what it says. Um, so, and it could very well be unconstitutional in that matter. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not sure where, yeah, it's latest action, um, it's like just died or something, but they likely attached it to the competes bill, that's probably what, that's happened there, um, mm -hmm. but basically, the bill, injurious wildlife provision of the Lacey Act prohibits the import and shipment of listed living creatures and their eggs, um, first bill specifies that the prohibited of shipments apply to interstate shipments within the continental U.S. Second, the bill authorizes the Department of the Interior to issue an emergency designation prohibiting the importation of a species, if necessary, to address an imminent threat to human beings. Now, this part, along with the third, that final paragraph, is where it could be construed be, be based on history. Um, to the interests of agriculture, horticulture, forestry, or to wildlife, or to the wildlife resources of the U.S. Third, the bill established the presumptive pro prohibition on the importation of any non-native species of mammal, fish, marine life, well, bird, marine life, amphibian, or reptile, or the eggs of such. Well, that pretty much applies to anything except for mammals. Um, the presumption may be overcome if Interior determines that the species does not pose a significant threat of invasiveness to the U.S. Now, this could be misconstrued as an immigration bill, too, because, as history knows, um, humans are the greatest threat to human beings. Um, as for this, mm -hmm. um, like 95% of all Americans in America are not native to America. Like, so basically, in that sense, and it's been proven that the people that came over um, to colonize posed an imminent threat to the native human population. Um, so basically, through that logic, through that stuff, this banned interstate travel of anyone who's not Native American. Now, now would that, would that either, so this could be one of two things. Uh, it could change the definition of invasive species to those who weren't born in a location but brought to a location. But then that makes the Burmese python, where there's thousands being hatched every year in Florida, native to Florida. And this was introduced by Marco Rubio of Florida, so I'm pretty sure that's not what he's intending on happening. Um, and I'm sure he did that because of the Burmese python. He's been really against the reptile trade, so there's that issue. Um, but, yeah. So, and this makes it where tourism of human, of other humans outside of the U.S. can't come into the U.S. Um, immigration no longer can happen. Visas can no longer be issued. And those jumping borders, whether it be Canadian or the Mexican border, they're now breaking two laws. One, coming into the country illegally, and this Lacey Act. So, it's like, especially if they're bringing pets with them. But, this could be very misconstrued. Um, and if this was part of the competes bill, which there's been signs that it was, and that passed, uh, that's going to be a whole other issue. Um, so implore those that are able to get this in, in front of the eyes of the Supreme Court, because this is, this is very unconstitutional, prohibiting people from entering the country and traveling with between states 
because, yeah, outside of the Native Americans, everyone else in the U.S. is not native to the U.S. So, this is a, because science proves we're mammals and we're animals. So this affects us too. So, with that, that is it. Stay safe. Link will be in the description box below. See you in the next video. Bye.